Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'll show you today how to program HD1 radio with few, step, few simple steps. So we're gonna do DMR and analog first. Open ID settings. Add your radio ID. That means your DMR number. Once you finish, add your call sign. The moment I'll put the your call sign so that's how you're gonna know how the steps is working and what that mean shut the windows once you finish now the next step is the it's a contacts priority contacts this is the that, that's the place where you have to add your groups your your talk group so uh, receiving and transmitting groups so let's get out the first one i'm gonna add just for example a couple of uk groups world and europe so first it's name of the group uk1 uk1 it's responding to group number one so let's get out the uk2 this one is responding to group number two Let's get another one. I'm gonna name this as uh, UK13. I'm gonna put the number 13 of the co groups. So you see, that's the structure of the of how you have to do your your group IDs. Let's add another one. This one I'm gonna name this one a Europe. Very busy group, by the way. And this, it's number 92. So group number 92. I'm gonna add another one. This is the global. So I mean, how the word is in there. And the ID of this group, it's 91. So you see, names and the group IDs, it's not the same. So that you can put any names you want. This is just an an example for you once you finish close the window <laughs> now channels that's the place you you have to add your frequency so i got just this one first it was for example we're going to remove that one that's how you're removing your your lists and i'm gonna add my vocal repeater which is GB7HH, by the way. And the frequency is 439.7500. This is the receiving frequency. Transmitting frequency is 430.7500. This is a digital channel. It's not analog, don't confuse yourself. We're working now with the digitals only. Scan out, yes, it's definitely in, don't miss that. It's headache if you miss it. Right, so this is the insight in the channels. So the channel alias or channel names, I'm gonna put my name of the repeater is GB7HH, and the system I'm gonna be before Phoenix, right. We got the frequency, we got the timers, we got the transmitting power. Let's start with the transmitting power. You see? It's lower, middle and high. High it's about 10 volts, I think. I guess so. By the by the manufacturer. So on the timeout, this is the time how long should transmit the your radio. Endless is usual. Scan that, don't touch this. So we got the name, we got the frequency, we got the first first step, it's done. So now the digital data, that's the importance. Very important. Please check your local repeater for this. Let's put the work mode and repeater. SWOT, that's the important one. So my local repeater is SWOT one. ID settings, so your call. That was the first step we did. So if you got more 
call signs you can add any calls you want. A color code. A color code is also important to connect yourself to the repeater. Uh, in my situation it's number three. So I'm gonna put a number three. So all done. The first step of digital data is done. Rx group list. Don't touch that, leave a custom. I'll tell you why after. Encryption, we don't need encryption at the moment. Promiscuous, this is the important one. You just tick the one, always make sure you got this one ticked. I'll tell you what I mean in the next episode. So let's focus just on the important things of the HD1. TX, always. Q code, make sure always is known. Wake up code, make sure it's always known. If not, someone gonna kill your radio or wake your radio up. That was the second steps available members. So now we're gonna add the members in the group. Oh, leave that test. This is just for testing. Bye. So the members they add. That's the groups we want to connect. So the groups we're receiving and transmitting. Uh, calls, contacts, priority, leave that one priority because we're working only with the priority contacts at the moment. Okay, we done. It's so easy. Check yourself, double check for mistakes. Don't do the job twice. Once you're sure that we finish with that, we just close the window. And we're gonna move from the next uh, step. By the way, you see analog data, it's not available at the moment. We're working only with digital at the moment. Let's get started with the secondary frequency, which gonna be an um, analog frequency. So my walkover repeater, it's analog, so Easy can be work above. So you see the receiving frequency, the transmitting frequency. Once you done this, now we're changing this to an old channel. And the second step, it's your tones. So make sure you know your repeater. What is the CTS as called, so make sure you, you got this correct. In my case, I'll give you just the example how my repeater is working. It got it's working on 110.9, so we marked 110.9. Like I said, just is just example to see how is this one working for you. You maybe you got definitely you got different settings in there. Definitely your one is different. So that's why make sure you you know your vocal repeater. Just the bandwidth so 25 for 12.5. So uh, the name of the repeater in my case is uh, GB3. HW, which we are going to put the analog. Next, let's get insight in the frequency. Once insight, so we see uh, most of the digitals are just not available. So we just got the third step, which is the transmitting time. So, as how we did do before, endless. We got the bandwidth. So, it's like I said before. So, you, you check your repeater and cho choice your bandwidth. Transmit activity. So, it's always transmitting. Now, Alright, so you see the TX, allow TX, and that's it. It's so easy. 
when you're doing analog data so analog radio I mean. apologize okay next step is zone zone information this is very very important so I got a local repeater which is my local repeater the first two data so you may add any names you want once you got this you need to transfer this in the select channel so I mean local repeater is the digital and the analog I'm gonna add the secondary repeater which I'm gonna name uh, let's say Luton Luton repeater Okay, I'll leave that one empty. It's not found the Luton, so because we got just the local repeater program at the moment. Let's add the numbers for the Luton repeater. It's for double three point two five zero zero zero. And the transmitting frequency is uh, four three four eight five triple zero uh, this analog repeater so we change this to analog we are adding the the tone code so the tone code is 077 in my case bandwidth so like I said please inform yourself the bandwidth of the repeater or the mode you're working for and this is just example for you uh, <coughs> I'm gonna do put the name of the Luton repeater, it's GB three L T. Let's get insight in the settings. So you see absolutely the same steps should be done for the every single frequency. Always don't forget scan. Don't forget because you miss something. If if you using the scanners I mean everything else is done so easy shut the window now let's get back to zone information but in the zone information as we mentioned before Luton repeater so GB3 LT is the Luton so we just add the Luton repeater into the select channel that's it so we go two zones and three, three repeaters. Let's connect the radio. Make sure, guys, make sure that this it's really good in the position and it's really tight. Finger tight, I mean, because sometimes there's some problems with the communication with the communication software. Okay. Now, switch on the radio. going back into the device ports so in my case I got this on comport 3 okay now it's just easy press right just transfer your all the data which you did now into the radio usually it's taking a couple of seconds and this one is now quicker trust me once you go about a hundred frequency inside it's taking time it's taking a huge time don't know why the the the, the bar rate it's so so lower but that's the radio so basically nothing else we can do yeah make sure you have a patient writing into the radio like i said like i said before like i mentioned in the next episode I'm gonna focus myself and hope you're gonna enjoy see how the DMR service it's working what I mean what is me it's mean the the encryption encryption details we're gonna I'm gonna put you in the deep encryption settings and you're gonna see how how the encryption is working uh, with HD1 it's gonna be interesting trust me guys it it will be interesting and 
but this there's gonna be just for the next episode so next next time i'm gonna make a couple of videos i'm gonna meet you in the whole the system the hd one it's not hard once you know what you're doing yeah okay so we got nearly okay so the radio so you see now the one frequency second and the third so we see now all the frequency basically they're here if you pay attention on the right corner it say no zones let's get down band b working on the b at the moment zone menu all channels okay let's change this to vocal repeater yeah confirm I just, I want just see. I just want to send you back into the menu what we did. That's how you you're gonna have a, a proper vision what we did. So gluten local repeater, yeah. So zones back to my radio. Zones we change this to local repeater. So you see, we have GBHH and GBHW. Because we working now with the zones on local repeater on your right corner down. Let's change this to Luton zone. It's that's how that's why the that's how the zone zone it's working. So you got stuck of the frequency. It's not messy inside, so you don't have to look on each single frequency where is this and go all the way down into the contact so that's how the zone is working. It's very easy. You see, we got now Luton, we got single repeater inside. Once you did the couple of channels, one you, it's gonna be very very easy for you. So, if you got any questions, please comment. Leave your comment. I'll make sure it's. I'm gonna to respond to you as soon as possible. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please. Subscribe yourself, like and share.